doing today or in this session is this is my rock ski and I'm in a panic now because like I said it's snowing out and I'm going to be going skiing of course I don't expect the best of conditions so I put these away last spring waxed them up put them up in the rafters and but didn't do anything to them and I'd like to start the season out on a you know a fairly good pair of skis uh, I mean these have been rock skis for a long time and they're starting to get dead but they still will function so I'm going to take and uh, show you what I would do to recondition them and you know get them out there and going again. I want to fix up the edges. I want the skis to really you know slide if it's possible. So anyway, there's kick wax left on these. Uh, not from last year. I've already skied once this year, but uh, conditions weren't that that good. So we only got to go on for a couple days. So this is where I'll use my cleaner. I love these things. They have this little squeegee top here that just really uh, loosens up the wax. Okay, this won't take much time. Okay. Paper towel. And here's one of the other things that you should be aware of. The word contamination. This is your glide zone. This is your glide zone. This is your kick zone. You don't want to work that stuff in here or this stuff out there. So you have to be very conscientious about which way you're working. So here's the front of my kick zone. I want to work in. I want to make sure I'm taking stuff in. Okay, and then I want to come back this way and work in again. Okay, and one of the things I didn't mention, waste paper basket. You've got to have one. I'm going to give that one more coat. I can just see how that's whitened right up already. Check for my black marks that show me where my zone is. Okay. Because I'm going to try and fix an edge here just so that I can show you what happens, how we do this. I didn't notice this before, but I've got a real goober right here on this edge. I'm going to take a piece of electrician's tape, put it right like this. Use duct tape, anything you want. See how good I am if I can get this PTEX uh, candle to get hot enough to with one match. That's always the challenge. Now this will start to drip PTEX. The little game is to play. There we go. She's dripping. I got a good aim going. What you want to do is move along so you don't create too much heat. Let's say pieces that you're putting in cool down. Move around. Let that cool down now. What I can do is I can get started on the other end of my ski. What I want to do is metal scrape these so that I'm going to get the, if this base is oxidized, and get the, so I'm going to come up here so you can see the stuff that I just pulled off the base. I don't know if that's going to show well enough. And you can see it's real stringy. You think, oh man, I'm taking a lot of base off. I'm not. I'm just barely touching the base. So I'm going to go right through the kick zone, just to liven that up a little bit. So there you go. That's what I've been taking off the base. That's how sharp that scraper is. And that stuff is nice. Actually, I, the base is not oxidized. I can tell you that's nice and stringy, nice and soft. And if it was oxidized, you would hear the metal scraper on the base a lot more than you do. So this is sort of like stone grinding on the cheek. I'm actually putting a, the back end of the ski here is actually drier, not as stringy, not as soft. And you can hear I'm not getting as much material. It'll take me a little while. Now I'm starting to get down 
but I'm pulling out the long stringy ones. Okay, so this is, I'm going to pull this off. That's filled in very nicely. Now I'll take my metal scraper, get rid of this stuff, and what I'll do is peel that down, just go over it nice and easy. Just shave it. There, I don't know what you can see, if you can see the black blobs that I had, and now I've got this nice little fine edge here. Okay, come on the edge, straighten that up. Not bad. Take a little fine sandpaper. Yoke yolk. That's back there. I'm gonna come through here. Yes, one more time. Now, in case I left any hairs on there, I'm gonna take a Brush brushes. And if you go, I like the soft one. I'm going to do that. Okay. And next, I'm going to check out the edges. I'm going to take a little, this is 60 grit. Right there, I got some really chewed up places. So I'm just, and essentially, I work on sort of like an angle bias here. Here's the 60. I'm coming in with 120. It might even be up higher. Oh, way better. And I just work my way along here, feel these out. Good.